As a part of our ongoing series of Pampers, Me, My Baby, and My World, we're here with 2010 U.S. Olympic team member Noelle Pikes Pace. Welcome to Mommy Cast. Thanks, it's good yes. to be here. And in keeping with our emphasis on high performance products, who better to talk to right. than a high performance athlete? That's right. <laughs> right. Skeleton. Yeah, how do you get into that? I mean, yeah, it's like, do you wake up one morning and say, I think I'm going to do the skeleton? Ske <laughs> I mean, I, what is that? I actually ran track and field in high school and also in college. And during that time, they were recruiting track and field athletes to go up and try bobsledding. I did bobsledding for a year and then switched over to skeleton. What yeah. in the world? Did your parents think when you started doing this? Because yeah, I don't know what I would think if my daughter came in and was like, I'm going to do a skeleton. Um, yeah. What the what? First of all, my mom is my hero, um, just in all aspects of life. We like hearing that. <laughs> she truly is. And um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a mom now. And just knowing, you know, if I could be half of what she is, I'll, I'll be just great, you That's know. So um, she actually would take off hours and hours of work and, and come pick me up from school. And I started when I was 15. So she would pick me up from school and drive me an hour up to Park City, wait in the car, wait, you know, out in the freezing cold for about three hours just for me to go down the track twice, which is like two minutes. Yeah. And um, then she'd drive the hour back. I, I couldn't be here. You know, I couldn't have been an Olympian had it not been for my parents. So, mm -hmm. Your daughter is two? Yeah, she is. Okay, so you had a pregnancy. Yeah. Not yes. <laughs> so, Girl. I mean, you know what? It, it, I think you're my hero because coming back from a pregnancy yeah. and then and getting in Olympic into shape. this kind of shape <laughs> after the pregnancy, I mean, yeah. how'd you get in shape? Yeah. Um, for me, I was active pretty much the whole time throughout my pregnancy. You weren't racing. Though. No, no, no. I wasn't <laughs> racing. But I raced, I raced yeah. just uh, two months after I had her. I was uh -huh. back in my speed suit, maybe not looking the best, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no video of that. Yeah, no footage of that. But, um, but I was back competing two months after. And I really think that, you know, being able to stay active throughout my pregnancy, mm -hmm. just making sure that I was eating well and, um, you know, having that um, before I got pregnant, it was easier to continue it throughout my pregnancy but then beyond that you know you get past the pregnancy then now you have a newborn and yeah. you have a little yeah. bit and then you have to start how judging how much time yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it was hard yeah, yeah it was really hard um you know and especially having this tiny little newborn and i'm like okay i really have Bye. to get my workout yeah. in yeah and and for me i mean being an Olympic athlete, we're gone for five to six months out of the year. So it was really, really hard. Mentally, when I would get up to the line to compete, my heart was just at home. I yeah. wanted to be home. I mean, here I right. was a little newborn, you know? Yeah. So it was, so I wasn't able to that mental thing it. to contend with yeah. at the same time. And the mental side, I think, was so much more difficult for me than um, the physical was hard. I mean, it, I mean, it was like every day, you know, and, and most moms can't do that. You can't say, okay, I'm going to work out for three to four hours a day. I mean, I was able to because we had Nor this dream. Nor do we want to usually. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it worked out and I was just able to do it because I had that support system. Right. I don't think, mm -hmm. I, there's no way I could have done it on, you know, on my own. <laughs> how, did, how did it feel having them with you in Vancouver? Oh my gosh. It was yeah, a dream come true. Your face just lit up. Yeah, yeah. Just lit up. <laughs> it was a dream come true, you know. Um, it was so much fun to be able to race and right when I'd cross the finish line, the first thing I would do is I'd look into the stands and be like blowing kisses to Lacey and she'd be blowing kisses and she'd be like, hi mommy, and I'd be like waving and they all, you know, had on the, oh, had the I US know, flags the, and, and their the, hats. The hats. That, the I love the hats. So yeah. I was like, I remember watching them I and before I knew that we were ever going to get to talk to you, I was yeah. like, look at her, so cute Isn't with that cute baby and husband and you pull off your little thing and you had your red, white and blue hair and the ponytail. So That's now great. as a physically fit mom, who, and this has been a major part of your life forever, I mean, now you have a daughter and hopefully you'll have more children mm -hmm. and it's just, you know, one of those things, I mean, what are your thoughts and feelings about what, what this is going to transfer into for your children? You know, I just hope that they know that they can do anything. They can accomplish anything. Whatever they set out to do, the world is theirs. It's, mm -hmm. it's for the taking. So, um, you know, and from my experiences, I really just hope that they know that, you know, obstacles will come. It's not if they will, it's when they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, trials and, and obstacles and things, and it's just how you react to those obstacles. It's not... Um, it's not the end of the world when things don't go your way. You know, you just have to maybe change your course a little bit and get around it and keep moving forward. And so I want them to know that they can do anything and to never give up on their dreams. Yeah. Good. Awesome. I got to work on that. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much thank for taking guys. the time to talk to us today. Thanks. It's been awesome. For more on Noel, the Olympics, and Pampers, go to mommycast.com.
right. That's right. Seems That's like right. you guys project. can you guys can come up and try it. I mean, anytime you're in <gasps> Park City, come on up. Let's go. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll probably hurt I'm myself. A little, I mean, Playtime will never be the same again, thanks to new Pampers Cruisers with Drymax. They're not just 20% thinner, they're also two times drier. It's next generation dryness. New Cruisers with Drymax, so playtime never ends, only from Pampers.